Greetings, Libra. Welcome to your horoscope. Now, I think good things for you. I mean, Sagittarius time is kind of fun because it's like friends and siblings and family. And then with Jupiter and Mars in the second house, yeah, there's family. And I think it's like with Jupiter and Mars together, this is a time for like conflict resolution. It's time for a more spiritual approach to where we might have felt wronged and where we can allow more justice, more goodness to come in. Just more goodness, just more happiness. Taking action to create happiness in, in your family and in your financial situation. Taking action. And it might take, you know, some leap of faith to try something different. And, um, you know, moon starts out in Scorpio, new moon in Sagittarius, late Sagittarius, in the Nakshatra Mula, K2 ruled, south node, it's about intuition. It's about honoring your body, you know, and the body's needs. And having faith versus it just being stuck on materialism, just having faith that things are going to get better. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, acknowledging where you've had calamity, where you've had tough stuff and where you really need healing. You know, because K2 places are places where we need healing. Um, so for Libra, it's like, Saturn's moving into your fourth house as well as the Sun. And so the focus is going to go eventually towards family. And, you know, maybe things that are going on with your parents and your siblings between them. This moon is in that middle place of that. It's going to take you to some deep truths about maybe your family history, things about your siblings, all of it. And, um,. Venus in, in third house, make some poetry, write a song, you know, do some art. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm.